story now that you'll see only on Nine. A son is on a mission to raise awareness about domestic violence after his mother's home was the center of a standoff in Baldensville last weekend. Her home deemed unlivable, but as News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc shows us, the damage reaches far beyond its walls. A place that was once a peaceful home, now tainted by the effects of domestic violence. To look around and see the destruction, you know, and everything she's worked for, to just be taken away in less than a day is uh, it's heartbreaking. It really is. You know, it saddens me just to be here. Just last week, a man barricaded himself for almost 24 hours inside this Charlotte Street house. It belongs to John Roberts' mother, Babs, and the suspect is her ex-boyfriend. Thankful Babs was not inside the home during the standoff, Roberts is picking up the pieces from a relationship he says nearly shattered his mother. She's a victim. Bottom line, she's a victim of all three things. Since the time of the standoff, as you can see here, the home has been deemed unsafe to live in. The windows have been boarded up, but according to Roberts, it's not the physical destruction that he's worried about. They need to be aware and talk about it and have to, absolutely have to. Adding to Babs's worries, her dog Brutus went missing for hours. Their reunion was a tearful one. He was shaking uncontrollably, but the look on his face of how grateful he was to see my mother and I. He's a survivor for sure. Stories of survival Roberts hopes to share with others. Though police tactics caused damage to the home, Roberts is grateful nobody was hurt. They hit the number one goal, you know, so I'm thankful for what they did and uh, her safety. In Baldwinsville, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Police agencies are not liable in situations like this one, and the family tells us they understand the measures that were taken that day. Roberts is now raising money to help his mother start over. A fundraiser at Sal's Pizza in Baldensville is set for November 6th. We have more information about that on localsyr.com.